AutoCAD has the ability to work with hyperlinks. This is a feature that was introduced long ago with AutoCAD 2000i. This feature is often overlooked and the power of it can really bring a lot of information at your fingertips. Any object in AutoCAD, whether it's a line segment, a circle, a piece of text, or even a block, when you look at those properties for that object, there is a hyperlink field. This hyperlink area can be pathed out to an internet web page, an intranet uh, internal web page, or even a file on your local hard drive or somewhere on the network share. You can path this piece of information to any object, and it comes into uh, play to bring a lot of power when you're working with AutoCAD blocks, especially with a shop floor plan or a site layout or something of that nature. So what we're looking at here is just a basic shop layout. You have some office equipment, you have some shop equipment, uh, basic site plan, and with some of these uh, shop pieces of equipment you can put text on them of course it's a standard AutoCAD block and you can label it and that helps but there's more information that you need for this piece of equipment and you'll notice when I hover over the Akuma notice my crosshairs get a kind of a, a globe icon added to it plus the tooltip shows there is a hyperlink for this block in order to utilize or activate that hyperlink I hold down the control key and I left click on that block and what happens in the background is a web page is opened up. You see it takes me straight to the Akuma web page for this piece of equipment. This is handy because I can come down to the bottom and see the details about the piece of equipment for uh, the machine size, the spindle speed, magazine capacity, things that might be important to run a particular job or schedule a particular, jo particular job on that machine. Uh, in order to add a hyperlink to an object, you can simply grip edit that object and add it straight into the properties. Uh, with a block, you could do the same thing. What I like to do is actually edit the block and put it internally to that block itself. So when you edit the block, you're getting a lot of the same properties you would outside of it. Down at the bottom, you'll see a hyperlink. So I'll click the three dot browse icon in the hyperlink field and now it takes me to where I can type in a web page. This is pretty simple. You can copy and paste from Internet Explorer or Firefox or Google Chrome and just paste that piece of information right here, paste that hyperlink into this field. Or you can click on web page. It'll bring up the browser inside of AutoCAD. You can actually go to your favorites and locate that hyperlink favorite. So for this, this is the Mazak machine that we went to, so I'll go to the Mazak product page. Now with the Mazak product page, how they have it set up, each machine doesn't get their uh, own segregated uh, page. You have all the machines on one page. And this is fine. It at least takes me to the page where I can find the information I'm looking for. So this is the link I'm going to utilize. Simply bring it up in the browser window inside of AutoCAD. Click OK. And now that hyperlink is listed here. When I click OK to the insert hyperlink dialog, save my block and close the block editor. Now when I hover over that Mazak you see that same globe icon so when I hit uh, the control key and click on the uh, AutoCAD block it takes me to that web page. You're not limited to only doing this with a web page. You can also do this with a local or network file. Uh, take for example the Jet Tool lathe up in the upper corner. I have a hyperlink on this one when I control and left click on it it brings up Microsoft Excel and takes me to that uh, document having details about that machine, stock number, uh, swing over bed, different sizes, length of gap. And when you do a local file like this, you have a lot more control. You can add more information that's unique to your process, unique to your shop. Uh, case in point, the job sets that are run on this machine. Is there any specialty setup required? Um, so 
in order to path it to a file, it's the same basic process. We'll take the sinker EDM here that does not have a hyperlink on it. I'll edit that block just like I did the Mazak. Bring up the hyperlink window and instead of going to a web page, now I'll navigate to a file. When you navigate to a file, you've got a, a choice you need to make here. You can either have an individual file for that machine, such as a PDF or a Word document or a spreadsheet, uh, even an, your own internal intranet web page for that uh, piece of equipment if you want. Uh, or you can have a master sheet. So we can, we can identify just one document with this, and it can be a, a document solely for this, or we can have that shop master, for example. When I path to a shop master, open that up, that becomes my link, save my block, close the editor, same deal. When I hover over it, I get that icon. When I hit the control key and left click, it will now bring up the master document. The only drawback here is it goes to the entire document. You can't isolate one particular tab, but at least you have access to it across the bottom with the various tabs in Excel. So a couple of different ways you can utilize AutoCAD blocks. Again, this technology was introduced back around AutoCAD 2000i, and it can bring a lot of information at your fingertips uh, for machine setup, for machine cycle time, for efficiency rates, uh, jobs you can run on it, um, the, the different tooling that's run on that job. So it can help you gather everything into one AutoCAD drawing and give you a one-stop shop. You can find more information at these links. And thanks for watching.